Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another hovercraft. And this one that I'm currently driving is called the Helix, which is set up perfectly for survival mode. So this thing features a survival kit, an O2H2 generator, oxygen tanks, all detectors, and can go on pretty much any planet. So press the F10 and find this in the spawn menu. The Helix is 583 small blocks using none of the DLC packs. We also have a nice lot of information about it, such as what you should and should not do, and of course all the important specifications showing what it has. So we give this thing a thumbs up, we move around towards the very front, I have a quick look around the outside, we'll see what it has to offer in the controls, then we'll drive it around and see how it handles this Earth-like planet. So at the very front, what we can see is a lovely bunch of orange, white and dark grey blocks. This makes up the main body of the ship, and it goes all the way around it. We also got two spotlights to light up the darkness, then just below here we can see the start of many wheels that are sitting on their side, and this is how the hovercraft system works with all these vehicles that I've showcased. Anyway, putting up just a little bit, we can see a fighter cockpit to drive this thing around, then towards the back there, two atmospheric thrusters with a lovely design around them to make it look like giant fans that you typically see on a proper hovercraft. Anyway, onto the side, we've got a solar panel, one on each side for some renewable power, and on the very side, this is all we can see. So we do have a tiny little wheel there in between our front and middle wheels. And this is simply going to help you out if you do a big jump and land quite hard. And towards the back, we can see a battery which can be recharged by our solar panel. We can see a couple of amstrick thrusters to keep us off the ground and to make us more hovercraft-like so we can just slide along the ground. And at the very back, this is all we can see. So we can see the rear of our fake fans. We can also see the fake blades just sitting on the top, bottom, left and right of each thruster. Then a the bunch of armoured panels at the back there, just adding us that grill part. We do have a connector so we can dock this thing up, load it up with anything useful, drop off anything we collected. Moving all the way up and looking down, we can see some fantastic use of some armoured panels in the orange and white. In the middle there, we've got a large cargo container. There is our survival kit, O2H2 generator. Then going towards the front there, there is our fighter cockpit to drive this thing around. Dropping down and coming underneath, I'll put the camera like this, put my light on, because there is quite a lot going on underneath this. So towards the front, what we can see is a bunch of atmospheric thrusters to help on the left and right, and of course to keep us slightly off the ground. We can also just about see how our wheels have all been set up along the side. There is our batteries, there's our hydrogen tanks. Going towards the back there, there is one atmospheric thruster to help slow this thing down, and of course to reverse this up if you need to. Towards the back, a couple more batteries. We see even more atmospheric thrusters. And towards the very back, there is the bottom of our cargo container. And that's pretty much it. If I just zoom away a little bit, you can just about make it out between all the grass. So there's the thrusters at the front. And we can see the solar panel on top. And there we go. That's a very brief look around the outside of the Helix hovercraft. And it looks bloody fantastic how it's all been done. It looks very sleek, very clean with its overall design. And it looks like a proper hovercraft that's been set up perfectly for survival mode. So just grabbing hold of my character, bring up the HUD, tab number one, these are the only controls we get. We have two tabs to go through, but number one is going to be for our thrusters underneath this vehicle to turn it off, so now we can't move up. We can still move forwards and backwards, but it will be very lumpy. Number two, number three is going to be for our friction on our wheels. This is very important with hovercrafts, because if you go too high, you're going to cause problems and probably clang out and explode. If you go too low, you're going to lose all your grip and will start to jump quite nastily over any kind of bumps. So keeping it around 25% or even on 10% is going to be perfect going around on a traditional planet. Number four is going to be for our lone atmospheric thruster, which is the one underneath the ship facing backwards. Number five is for our ore detector on and off. Number six is for our beacon on and off. Number eight is for our gyroscope controls on and off. And number nine is for our batteries to auto or recharge. On to tab number two, we've got our O2H2 generator on and off. And number two for our air vent to suck an auction from surrounding areas. And of course the final one is number nine for our survival kit to turn that on and off in case you don't need it. Just like I said, we've got pretty much everything we need for a survival mode. We can refine stuff up, we can store nice sort of stuff in our containers, and we can refill our tanks very easily on that auction planet. So here we are on the super flat version of planet Earth, which is a fantastic place to test out this vehicle. It's a fantastic place to test out any vehicles, because there are no lumps, there are no bumps, no trees to crash into. So you can go up to the maximum speed pretty safely to see if there's any issues. And with this, we're running at 99 meters per second, and there are absolutely no issues whatsoever. You can see it is wobbling around just a little bit, but that is perfectly fine. And if you were to do a sudden 180, there are still no issues whatsoever. So there we go with that. It's a very safe vehicle to go around, 
and if you are on a lumpy planet, you will need to drive it a bit more carefully, maybe about 40 meters per second, that's always a safe place to go to, and you'll be fine. Yes, as for that, it's not too much else to talk about, it's very self-explanatory what it does, and they're very easy to drive compared to traditional vehicles, so you can just drive around, drift around, get to places where you need to go. So yes, like I said, it's a fantastic vehicle if you want to use it in survival mode. It's got pretty much everything you need to survive in survival mode, especially on an auctionless planet. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around it yourself. Highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.